If you have elementary school students in your household, chances are you've heard of the D.A.R.E. program, Drug Abuse Resistance Education. In the Alberni Valley, it's a 10-week curriculum taught by RCMP officers in elementary schools. And although few would dispute its value, it's sometimes hard to equate it with long-term success. To understand that the lessons learned in grade five can last a lifetime, which is where the story of Lefty Williams becomes a game changer. Lefty grew up in Jersey City, New Jersey, in a time and place that didn't offer much hope for the young man's future. I grew up in a rough environment, single parent home. You're talking about gang activity, you're talking about drug activity, you're talking about carjacking. Um, at one point in time, there was a movie made about carjacking in Jersey City called New Jersey Drive. And that, that, when I saw the movie, I was like, oh my God, that's just about as, that's not a movie, that's my life. That's what, you know, that's it. That was his life, and the chances of him escaping it were pretty slim, until that boy was thrown a lifeline. Yes, Dare saved my life, Officer uh, Scarper, Frank Scarper. Uh, he's still with the Jersey City Police Department right now to this day, and he saved my life. He was my Dare teacher. Now, you might think that's an exaggeration, that one police officer in one classroom could make such a difference, but that police officer became a friend who never gave up on him. He saw something in me that I, I, I didn't quite yet recognize in myself. So he'd be patrolling, he'd see me by McDonald's, he'd pull over, just theatric, like sirens or something, pull over, where are you going? And then get in. Playfully, he put cuffs on me. He says, this where you wanna end up? Said, no, he said, well, this where you're gonna end up if you keep acting like this. And it was the first and last time I ever had handcuffs on me. <laughs> that would be me. Lefty Williams did make it, all the way to a career in professional basketball. And he remains friends with Officer Frank Scarper to this very day. And as an adult, he's committed to throwing that same lifeline to other young people, in part through a program called Dare to Dream, and you guessed it, by helping out with Dare. Hey, hey Lefty, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. It's uh, created a bit of a partnership. So Lefty and I now um, work together uh, with respect to drug awareness. Good. I just wanted to talk to you about uh, my dare class that's coming up and uh, see if you can come. Being able to partner with, uh, you know, Corporate Kusan and the rest of the RCMP office. Like, this means, this is like, this is the ultimate give back for me. Hello. I'm not saying that I was just able to just escape all of this. Every day, I had to make a decision. Every day, I was faced with a decision. A decision to either be a bully or not be a bully. To join a gang or go to basketball practice to, you know, stick up an old lady who I see walking home or go the other way. Every day, I was forced to make a decision. There certainly is uh, an instrument in policing that does make that difference. Dare has been making a difference in the Alberni Valley for about 14 years. And during that time, virtually every grade five student has gone through the program, gaining the skills they need to make informed decisions in the future and learning from role models like Lefty, who knows better than anyone how important those decisions are. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.